Okay, I'm about to start another build. This one used to be Adventure Time RCs. This is a, Wendig a Red Cat Wendigo. Uh, it was one of his projects that uh, he just hasn't got to yet. And he said, how would I like to try it? I thought, sure. And this time, you know, I've built several other vehicles. And I use my very best trigonometry and I still they all end up pretty much about the same so <laughs> I'm just gonna do this one up and yeah, shine her up a little bit make it nice and uh, see what I come up with it has all working lights on it and everything uh, this morning I'm just gonna take it out wash it down clean her up and think about what I'm going to do to it. It is still here. Pretty much. I just have to do the electronics and a motor. Nice servo. Still installed. Some nice smooth shocks. Very nice. It also came with wheel wideners and the uh, cover for the gears. So, can't beat that. Let's turn this into something different. It is fast. I remember when he did run it. It's pretty high geared and it's a zoomer. So, I don't know. I'm a crawler guy. I'll see what I do with that. Okay, I'm back and uh, I cleaned it up some. This is the win Windigo, that's right, Red Cat Windigo that uh, Adventure Time gave me. And you know, I, I put the shine to her a little bit and uh, got a new motor. It's an 1800 Hobby Wing Fusion and a Spectrum three channel receiver and transmitter. And uh, it's pretty much, I can program it. I'm kind of at the, what the hell am I gonna do now stage? I'm looking at uh, different body, what kind of wheels. Oh, I put a nine tooth pinion gear in it because I know this thing has got some fast gears in the diffs. So it ought to all work out. Now that's the next update. I'm gonna stop here <clears throat> with this video because uh, I don't know what kind of wheels. Yeah, I do actually I'm going to use these ones The bummer is These rims they are sharp They look real good on this once I get it done But the problem is I got these at a swap meet and the 12 millimeter It's like 11 or 11 and a half you can't put a 12, the guy made them himself, they're machined himself. And uh, now I know why I sold them, because you can't put a nut in there. i got to sand them down and file them to make them fit. And it's just not worth all the bother. You ruin more nuts than you get done right. So, rah. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to use these wheels or not, but I'm going to start mocking it up. And uh, see what I come up with. And I put the uh, front bumper in the back to give it that old log skitter look, you know. We'll see what we come up with. We'll see ya. Okay, we're pretty much done with it. Listen to how quiet that is. The old Traxxas torque steer. So we're gonna come out here, see how bad the fenders scrape, do some clipping, see what we come up with. Well, I sure do hate that torque steer. 
And that's one of the issues with the suspension, you can see. And it doesn't come back down. <laughs> oh well, I'll work on that. Completed truck more or less. I'll do some tweaking and then uh, do a real video with it. Oh, almost. And it died. What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> 